the MATLAB debugger is an extremely useful tool to stop code execution and check the variables in the code. Here I've got a very basic script set up with two if statements in here. We start off and define y equals 42 and x equals 10. The first if statement checks is y greater than 40. We know that to be true because y is 42. In that case, y is defined as x, in which case y becomes 10. Then we come to the second if statement, y is currently 10. If y is greater than 0, well this is true because y is 10, then y becomes y plus 100. This y value is 10, 10 plus 100 is 110, 110 is saved to y. However, well, we can step through this simple example, oftentimes in more complex code with hundreds of lines, this is going to be really difficult to assess. What we can do is use the MATLAB debugger, and we simply click along the side panel here to add these red circles, which is where we can stop. These are called breakpoints. I'm going to add one here at the 8 to start. To begin the debugger, we click Run and Advance in the Editor tab of the MATLAB IDE. You'll notice that an arrow appears here, telling us where we're currently at in the script. Note that this line has not been run yet. All of these lines have been run. One great feature about this is that we can hover our cursor over values to see what that variable has as a value. Right now, y is 42. Awesome. We can hover over x and confirm that x equals 10. We know that since x equals 10 here, y will be overwritten with 10. We can move forward just one line using the step button. We click this, and now we've moved down our green arrow to line 9. That last line that we ran gave an output of y equals 10, because x is 10, and we assign that value to y. Now what happens if we hover over y? We see that y is now 10. Even if we go to the beginning and hover over this y, y is 10, because right now in the script, that's the current value of y. We get all the existing current values of each variable when we stop the script. I'm going to create another breakpoint here at line 12, right before we run line 12. I can click the continue button to move to the next breakpoint. Here the green arrow has jumped down to line 12, but it has not run line 12. Everything before this now has been run. We can hover over y to confirm that y is 10, which is greater than 0, and we know that this if statement will then run. y here is 10, we add 100 to 10, and we'll assign a value of 110 to y. We can continue to finish the script because there are no more breakpoints. And we'll get that final line, y equals 110. The last feature I want to show you after we get into the debugger is the quit debugging button with the red square. We can click this and immediately stop debugging and the script does not run. This is a very useful tool that we'll use when our programming becomes more complex in future videos. Please get comfortable using MATLAB's debugger.